Well, guys, we'll be over here in beautiful Dublin, Ohio, on the first week of January along the Scioto River. This is our new pedestrian bridge, suspension bridge. I, I like to walk across a bridge. It's been a couple years since it's opened, and um, let's have a look at it. And this new housing, which was billions of dollars spent in the city, and the pedestrian bridge is kind of like a centerpiece on the table. It was a 20 some million dollar project, but over on this patio, this was a hole in the ground two years ago when we were here. And they've uh, rented a skating rink for the holiday. Possibly artificial grass there. And real rocks. But you live upstairs and you shop downstairs. You don't have a car or a toolbox, a lawnmower or anything. It's a pretty futuristic. This is wood, real wood. It's a, I call it teak, and uh, no visible fasteners, and it carries on throughout the bridge with the stainless steel. It's a it's a, it's a work of art. Oh wow, they had lights like the zoo over there that are animated with the music. I can see them hanging in the trees. They look like squirrels' nests. Yeah, beautiful Dublin, Ohio. They have a lot of ordinances. One of them is the panhandling ordinance. It's pretty funny. And here we are in Dublin beside the skating rink. I thought this was a skateboard park for a minute. Yeah, fun time at night. You're, this entertainment. They, they work on a lot of different venues like anyone would. There's Murfield and the zoo to my north. Just for starters, an archway here. Or zoo wildlife. They have sledding. That's the nicest skating rink I've seen outdoors. Check it out. High class living. It reminds me of a ski resort. They want to attract people. There it is. So this was the hole on the ground. There's our bridge we're walking across. The city Christmas tree, one of them. So this is the first time I've ever seen this building, so you tell me. They have all these little tunnels. I think I can make it across the bridge in 10 minutes. The, um, it's a third of a mile across approximately 800 feet or so, 1,000 feet. I was afraid to bring my dog across. Uh, it's lunchtime straight up and so the walkers are probably, the morning ones are out. Some beautiful, this is metal art. Plasma, laser cut. Walking trails, biking trails. Check out the wood up here too. This is beautiful. A pavilion type of a thing with a fireplace in the middle. It's not lit right now. Some silvery looking stuff here. And the ornaments, if you can see them. LED lighting throughout. Uh, LED lit where the beams come up. What do you see here? Cable suspension. It, you know, possibly from like a France design you think and I see a needle and thread myself there's your needle and the thread going through the ne needle is one of them and then maybe a heart and possibly like a vagina you know I mean seriously oops am I holding the camera right the uh, the Roaring River an ovary I should say the tree of life So a riverfront park. They got the sod in now. Here's our wood that carries over with uh, no exposed fasteners. And it's underlit with LED lights. And your fasteners are up through here. Small cable here. Uh, some of the, the big cable here is made in uh, Italy. I'm pretty sure the turnbuckle, it says right on it where it's made. Well, not sure about the turnbuckle. 
But that cable is from Italy, I'm thinking. This is approximately five inch wide. That's it. Anchor it into the wall. Freaking metal art. Metal art galore. S shaped. $24 million. And worth every penny. Beautiful sycamore trees. And the part I like about a sycamore is they curve in a whimsical fashion and they come out like a family and they look almost person like. And I couldn't think of who that person is there. It's a, a family. Pretty wide, 16 foot approximately. Extensive stainless, adjustable. Beautiful housing, recreation, super nice people. There's our old bridge for the uh, Bridge Street and it's in a London Bridge style out of the native stone, limestone. And they can flip a switch and turn the colors on the lights. It's kind of nice, I got the bridge to myself right now while I'm filming. I'm not pestering anyone that way. They were very nice people, but you, yeah, you have to watch. Especially if you have like Donald Trump stuff on, you can, you know, it can get a little interesting. Oh wow, I'm underneath this already, huh? The needle through the thread here. I, I'm. And this building here has an S shape on the corner. And there's a traffic circle here. Probably all kind of cameras and monitoring of all sorts here from maybe a weather station up top or so yesterday on my Cincinnati radio they were ground uh, they did their ribbon cutting for they're going to build a new bridge in Cincinnati beside the old one on the I-75 and 71 the, the, the politicians were all there the president flew in and they've all been in office their whole lives the politicians and the governor and the president who was a former two-time vice president and they were saying how they needed that bridge 30 years ago and everything in Cincinnati was one of the worst bottlenecks in the whole country and it was holding our country back and we needed we had all these problems in our country when these these guys have been in politics their whole lives but that was funny to listen to and sure enough there was no mention of that in national news or the Columbus news but I would suppose my Dayton news would have had it a nice shot of my sycamore trees, uh, some box elder and some walnut and some vines, um, a couple of pieces of floating debris but um, a flood zone here, the creek bottom, or I should say river, Syrita River is here, the Olentangy is over there and they converge downtown and the Olentangy terminates and the Sirota continues to the Ohio River um, a Marietta type of a thing, Portsmouth and the Sirota starts at a field tile in Roundhead over towards Lima and the Olentangy starts over by Canton, Ohio winds up and it's quite a waterway so there's rooftop parking over here some really high class lifestyle parking garages if you live here you have an automobile but no lawnmower or a toolbox this facility here is a uh, emergency generator building so Dublin has the ordinance on the panhandling and apparently the skateboarding on the bridge but Oh, they they need everything enclosed. If you have a generator or a trash can or something, it, it has to be discreet to you know keep up the aesthetics. Tons of money spent over here. Be a good neighbor. Keep moving here. I smell steak. Columbus Metro Library is where I end my video. Like a Civil War cemetery over here and the waterfall just right by the other turnbuckle. 
to the suspension bridge and a zinc plated Pretty cool to get on the ground and look up at this. And when it first opened, it kept closing because of um, seabed, and they had uh, saw horses marked closed due to inclement weather. And I forgot to get a shot of those, but you, you drive down this street and you can see hi. Um, there's someone walking their dog up here. It's pretty pretty over there and beautiful this is our old town Dublin part of it the center of old town Dublin is approximately four blocks over the rooftop parting they have their snowman still on the roof with the plants these miniature plants there's your generator room for emergency and some transformers some uh, decorative hi it's kind of neat though pretty guys Hello. Outdoor dining. We have Murfield in the zoo. If I haven't brought that up already. Beautiful Dublin, Ohio. And our TV crew set up here once in a while for whatever reason. There you go. So, congratulations, you know, to pulling something like that off here. Columbus Metro Library and the parking garage behind it. But thanks for watching, everyone. Bogart Rippy over here taking a walk across our new pedestrian bridge that opened uh, the grand opening was April 2020.